All right, so continuing our thoughts, continuing our thoughts. Yeah, so um, yeah, I think uh, a life of enthusiasm, personal curiosity is what drives me. And uh, yeah, even our best friend Elon Musk, just read the Walter Isaacson biographies. It's a, uh, yeah, curiosity is what uh, drives him. It's actually weird too, because in America, like what, curiosity killed the cat kind of BS, right? And as a consequence, people's not really allow themselves to indulge their curiosity. Like, you know, I think I wish I said to be kids. I mean, even the best friend, uh, best friend Ye was like, what is, what is a genius? Genius is a kid with good parents. And what is a good parent? Well, I think a good parent is just attentive and loving. I mean, even my friend Natalie, she's like, I think the most uh, critical way to judge the success of a kid is actually whether the parents love them or not, right? And obviously, if the parents love the kids, the kids gonna be fine, right? And actually, too, the funny thing too is that we have such strong opinions about how other people raise their kids. I'm just like, no, nah, just, just, just leave them alone. Um, because actually the, the problem too is with comparison, the reason why comparing is a bad idea is that when you're comparing yourself to others, right? Is that you equivalize yourself with other people, which is based because use a rare bird, use a rare bead, you're a rare uh, plant. Uh, and by showing and signaling that you want to equivalize yourself with other people's, is a not good thing because ultimately you just kind of make yourself uh, boring. Um, yeah, so you're, the only the only cardinal sin in today's world is being boring. And actually, even the, my critique about modern day movies, right? Like all these movies come out so boring. It's like same old tropes. I even watched the what the trailer for the new Aquaman movies. It's like so. It's like pretty lame. It's just like another like evil villain who's like, I'm gonna destroy everything you love. Like, come on, just like, kind of rolling your eyes. Um, so it does look like the, what the writer's strike did it is actually uh, kind of important and critical to consider because um, all the, the different peoples are like, <laughs> putting out these like really bad movies. And it's because the writing is no longer good. So. What should the writers, writers strikes peoples do? Um, honestly, the what the takeaway point is, I mean, if you're an individual writer, you're part of SAG or whatever, the radio people association thing, right? I think the most robust thing to do is actually not, um, Yeah, just uh, unchain, the, unchain the chain. I think it's better to be a independent writer, producer, creator, rather than being, being held into some sort of platform. Even like, um, apparently what? Zack Snyder, one of my favorite directors of all time, the movie 300, etc. Uh, I think he's like partnering with Netflix to produce a new series, movie thing about Rebel Moon or something like that, right? And I'm just curious, it's like, wouldn't it be better for these producers, directors, creators to have their own streaming platform? Or to have people just buy the movie direct? Actually, the one of the very, 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 very interesting things from uh, Elon Musk is Tesla. Even Apple, right? You're directly selling to customers. So if you have something as simple as like what? A Shopify, WooCommerce, PayPal, what, Stripe or whatever. I think even, um, what, ChatGPT, OpenAI just uses Stripe uh, as the payments. And so, as long as you could put in somebody's credit card information, you should just sell directly to the customers. Seems like uh, a robust way to 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 do things. Um, yeah, so, yeah, sell direct to customers, right. So once you use a crypto billionaire, crypto trillionaires, then what? What do you want to do with your life? So my hot take is, I don't know, just think of life as just like philosophy, aesthetics, 
getting super duper jacked and swole, and actually being able to uh, propagate yourself. How you doing? How you been doing? Merry Christmas. Yeah. yeah. How's how's uh, how's the doggy doing? He's doing great. He's doing great. Yeah, little cutie pie. Yeah. <laughs> how you been doing? Yeah, actually, uh, we just visited the uh, the family's house in uh, Orange County. Oh, down had down like down. had like some like beef ribs. Had some beef brisket. Nice. I had like five or six pounds of meat. I just passed the <laughs> F out last night. Yeah. yeah. That's good. Yeah, how's, uh, how's, uh, how's, uh, how's LA life? It's going good, it's going good. We're enjoying it. We so. just uh, went up to Mammoth last week for the week. Oh, cool. What's, what's your best no. trick? Huh? What's your best trick? Oh, I got no tricks. Yeah. No tricks? Uh, no, I'm just, uh, just, I just cruise. Oh, nice. <laughs> so you have any uh, New Year's resolutions? No, no, just aim, same old, same old. Yeah. Take it easy. Take it easy. Uh, how about you? Actually, it's so funny too because me and my wife, Cindy, was like, our new centering word is ease, E A S E. Uh huh. Like a life of ease. Yeah. Because, like, you know, American people is like, oh, easy is bad. Like, you want to take the hard way. Da, da, da. Yeah. But my thought is, it's like, I think of ease kind of more like creative leisure, creative ease. Yeah. It's just like not taking. Not taking small things and making a big deal out of it. Exactly. And it's kind of like chilling out, vibe now. Yeah. Yeah. How's how's the wifey? She's good. She's really good too. She's yeah. She's doing great. Yeah. Where do where do you guys live? We're in Harlow, just over here. Where's Harlow? Uh, it's uh, just down Washington. Right, oh. Uh, right across from the uh, Kirk Douglas Theater. Oh yeah. yeah. Have you have you seen any shows at the Kirk Douglas we yet? Been, no, no. We're always like oh. oh go check random hot out. take. Is Michael Douglas the son of Kirk Douglas? Yes. 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 Do people not know that? A lot of people probably don't. People my age know it, but uh -huh. people, yeah. Wait, how old are you? Uh, 52. What? You look like 42. No, no. What's the secret? What's the secret? What's the secret? <laughs> yeah. Life of ease. <laughs> yeah, I just, um, I'm 35 turning 36. Oh, no way. Okay, and you look young. I was going to say 20 something. Oh, really? Yeah, like, yeah. How, how do you think I look like? Yeah, tw I mean, like late 20s. Oh, 30, thank you, thank you, thank you. 30, yeah. You, know, you guys you have a little one, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My, my son, Seneca, he's about to turn three. Okay. And actually, the funniest joke I always tell people is that, like, whenever, you know how you know people getting old or not? When they talk about getting old. Like, I was at the gym, and I was like talking to dudes, like, oh, now that I'm getting older, I'm like looking, I'm like, wait, how do you? He's like, bro, I'm so old, I'm like, 30 now I'm like I'm 35 I'm like five years <laughs> older than you so why tell me I get old but then I always joke I was like oh Eric you know what is your life goals plans I'm like I want to be a five-year-old kid stuck in the 35-year-old body there you go that's a good way to do yeah it. so what you got what you got done for the rest of today just want to uh, walk no we're gonna do a walk um yeah that's pretty much it what's the doggy's name again Loki how do you spell L-O-K-I. Oh, like, um... Like the Marvel. The Marvel? Yeah. Do you name it after Loki? Yeah, yeah. Wait, why do, why do you like Loki? Um, I don't know. We just call it a suitable name. We're actually looking at, like, uh, the, the Nordic uh, gods or oh. like that. Oh. Not from the Marvel movies, but just in general. Okay, so if you didn't name it Loki, what would you name it? I like the Nordic gods. We had come up with another name, and I forget uh, which one we were looking at. Anyway, yeah. Initially, for my son, I was like, thinking, what would be a better name? I wanted to actually name my son Zeus, because oh, yeah. then nobody could mess with Zeus. Yeah. But my wife's like, no, nah, that's like, that's too much. <laughs> that's asking for, yeah. That's, that, that's, that's too much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But then if we, uh, if we ever have another kid, we have a daughter, I want to name her, like, Athena, like okay. the Greek yeah, goddess Athena. Hell right, yeah, yeah, hell yeah, <laughs> hell it, right? And I was actually thinking about, if I could rename myself, I would rename myself Achilles. Achilles, that's a good one. Yeah, because I don't know, I think the <laughs> the cruelty of the anti-hero is what I like. Yeah, yeah good, good seeing you. Good see you too. Oh, yeah, we wish I'm more late. Uh, um, so, uh, yeah, so anyways. So yeah, so life goals, life goals, life dreams, ambitions, hopes, etc. Um, yeah, life, life of ease seems like a, like a good one. Um, and uh, yeah, and I think uh, physical fitness, uh, physiology, well-being, etc. So oh, another hot take I have this morning's is what is happiness? I think happiness is courage. Uh, I was randomly thinking about that book like Ryan Holiday put out. It's called Courage is Calling. I mean, kind of a cheap cheesy title but um, the general idea which I think is a good one is courage is essentially the art of the heart art of the heart it's courage if it rhymes it sounds more true actually that's one thing that I did learn from ancient Greek literature ancient Roman literature they they say that if something rhymes or if something sounds more mel melodious it actually sounds more true 
And so for, as a consequence, um, trying to get things to rhyme and stuff like that is a good strategy because when you try to get things to rhyme and stuff like that, A, it's more memorable and B, it sounds more quote, quote, truthy. Um, yeah, truthy, truthy, truthiness is, uh, is the goal, is the goal. So, yeah, how much are these cars? I'm always kind of curious about the sticker price of these new cars. Yeah, so for example, I'm always like curious, like, why does somebody trade in the Tesla Model 3 performance, all black everything, only $39,000? It's like, what, what, uh, what car would they have done? Traded in. This is someone trading the Shelby. Actually, the most commonly traded in car I see is everyone trades in these what Camaro muscle car thingies. Uh, so I guess they're not good cars. Someone traded in what a GLC 43 AMG. So that's probably not a good car. But the BMW X6M Loser Range Rovers. Actually, the the sign of Unsuccess in LA is if you drive a range, it's a sign of a not good one. So curiosity, why did somebody trade in the the Prime RAV4? I mean, I think this is actually a really good car. It's uh, yeah, how much is it selling for? Forty-four thousand dollars. Yeah, twenty twenty-one RAV4 Prime. Only two years ago. Yeah. Yeah, RAV4 pickup prime, plug-in hybrids. Actually, yeah, why, why does people sell that? Always kind of... Which MPGs does it get? But anyways, so yeah, I think... Uh, oh yeah, anyways, so, so we, got the, we got the New Year's ahead of us. What are some new life goals, dreams, hopes, and ambitions you have? Um, yeah, so good morning. Uh, so some thoughts I have is... Uh, you know, we all want to become something new, do something new, etc. And what should we aim for and strive for? It is so some centering ideas is like, for example, one is a life of ease, E A S E. Um, ease is a a good notion. Another good notion, I believe, is kind of like muscle. Just think, like people talk about fitness, right? I think muscle is a better notion. Just like, get the bigger muscles is uh, a superior goal. Um, also, if you want to save the monies, join the Facebook Buy Nothing group. That's where we got all of our baby stuff from. I literally don't think we spent any money on none of Sen's baby stuff. Uh, just get it all for free. Free 99 is my, my fair price. Um, Yeah, this scat pack somebody traded in the Dodge Charger. It's actually funny because like, I know all the Asian cars pretty good, but I have zero idea about the American muscle cars. They all kind of uh, look the same to me. And uh, yeah, and I think, especially now that it's pretty cold, even in LA, uh, just buy yourself some nice merino wool, merino wool leggings, just go on Amazon, just stuff on Amazon's fine. I think, uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, I think uh, Amazon, <laughs> Jeff Bezos is so effing insanely smart. He's like, I want to make a future in which to not have Amazon Prime is irresponsible. And yeah, I think uh, Amazon Prime is funny because if you use it intelligently, it's the best, one of the greatest inventions of all time uh, for humans. But if you use it like social media and you're always buying shit for the sake of buying shit, it's uh, yeah, actually positively detrimental to your life. It doesn't even matter how much money you have. It's like the more shit you buy, the more boxes you got to break down and uh, manage. Even I'm at this point, like I don't want to accept no more gifts and toys and stuff like that for Sen because so we're going to store that stuff, right? <clears throat> Storage is the future. Um, and actually... <laughs> for me, if you ever want to buy a birth Oh, my birthday's coming up, January 31st is my birthday, right? I'm gonna turn 36 this time. So, what do you want to buy me for the birthdays? Get Ur Kim Costco gift cards so I can just buy more meat. That's all, that's all I need. 
The only thing I need money for is paying rent and paying uh, eating the meats. Uh, El Recurious, really, really nice. Two bed, one, one bath. The most luxurious furnishings and faucets and kitchen countertops are listed at $3,500 a month. We're paying $3,200 USD a month. So I'm just gonna pay for that. And, uh, and yeah, and I think if you live in an insanely great apartment that you love, I think paying rent is worth every single dime and penny. Um, one of the big problems about nowadays is uh, the really, really big problem is even if you buy a nice ass house, right? Let's say you buy a $2 million house all in cash. The downside is the property taxes on it are insane. And a property tax is just money that's going to the local government to pay for the, the schools, the, the roads, the fire department, what is, right? That's money that's like going straight, metaphorically going to the gutter. That's not going to your equity or your principal, what is, right? So honestly, like this whole like bank, buy a house, mortgage thing, it seems like an effing scam, my thought. Um, and uh, debt is essentially the devil. Uh, anything that you have to go to debt, no matter how much of a good cocoa investment it seems like, is uh, not a good investment. Never, 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 ever, ever, ever go to debt. And that means a mortgage. You have a mortgage used in debt. You have car payments. You finance nothing used in debt. I need to do some more research on the debts. So debts are for losers. Uh, a real rich person has z -z 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 zero debt. I have no debt. I only got, well, how much do me and Cindy have? I think in total we have like close to an M, maybe, maybe less, maybe I'm over exaggerating, whatevs. Uh, everyone always over exaggerates how much, how about let me just under exaggerate. Oh, let's say we have a half, half an M, just underestimate. It's uh, better to uh, underestimate than uh, overestimate. So how do millennials waste their monies? Eating out, eating ice cream, you know, going to restaurants, drinking alcohol. So think about it this way. If you never ever ever went to a restaurant every single time again, you never ever, ever bought alcohol or bought clothes and shit like that, right? Then you, it's gonna be so easy to be rich. Like, it's all via negativa, right? Which means the easiest way to go rich is to not go broke. And happiness, it's just not being miserable. So cutting out anything that causes you misery seems like a good idea. Um, for me, cold is misery, so staying nice and warm, getting a lot of wool down cashmere is a very good idea. Let's see if this works. Still closed, booms. Um, <laughs> I gotta bring back the Simpsons in South Park, it's like, my whole life could just be made off a list of uh, Simpsons quotes. I am so smart. S-M-R-T. Yeah, so actually moving forward this year, uh, my new ethos is gonna be like, I ain't gonna take things no seriously no more. And uh, yeah, just, just have more fun with it. Just have, um, just F with it and uh, yeah, just don't take things alive uh, too seriously. I think when people take things too seriously, they're super antisocial and they just end up becoming uh, a bunch of wrinkled, boring folks. Also, pro tip you see nice textures, touch it with your hand. Yeah, I think uh, LA is uh, super, super lit, super lit. Well, and also, by the join the What's it called? Um, so, some other fun thoughts. Join the, what, Too Good To Go thing, right? We're actually gonna pick up some, uh, uh, a pack of five or six meats, like seven, eight pounds of Wagyu A5 beef, 100 bucks, buy yourself more meat presents. Meat presents are the best presents. Looks like Apple has a fire alarm issue. What's happening at the Apples? Nobody knows, nobody knows. Okay, so, uh, some more, more future thoughts, more future thoughts. Uh, 
Yeah, so I need to create a list of uh, New Year's resolutions. Um, yeah, just quit. Very simple, like quit DoorDash, quit eating out for the whole year. Just, just cook all the food yourself. Just get yourself an air fryer. I like the Chefman brand. We could get on the get on the the Amazons. Um, get a Costco membership, Costco Business Center if you have a close one, and get the leg lamb roast. Just cut it up as a slice, fry it on the pan. It's good. Also, the Wagyu ground beef from Costco is actually really, really good. Very, very tasty and uh, very delicious. Uh, I personally love it. Um, 